This is the Unity 139C. Again, our first uh, Unity. It actually failed during this test. So I think we're going to go ahead and test this one as well. So give me a second here and we'll functional test it. it appears to pass functional tests. Well, let's just go ahead and run her through the transient tests. Again, this is at uh, 3.7 kV. This is a 50 microsecond decay into an open. And it's a 2 ohm source impedance. About 10 joules of energy right now. Okay, the diode check is what failed on the other Unity. Notice this one here reads over. No problem so far. Oh, I'm afraid that's the end of her. I don't know if you just heard that pop. Yep, she's going down fast. Well, this Unity had a very short life, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Listen to that baby popping. <laughs> well, I tell you, if you're looking for a $50 meter, this isn't it. Yeah. I like some of that. Okay, change polarity. Might as well keep testing her. Let's just see what happens when we're done here. Again, we're not looking at the current. Oh, reset the meter. Nice. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, reset her again. Let's try in microfarad mode. Ooh, another reset. Try diode mode. Another reset.
Yeah, it looks like we've blown out the front end. We'll go ahead and finish it up here. Let's have a look. We'll see what's all wrong. With yeah, it would appear the whole front end is damaged. Uh, this is 50 volts DC applied right now to it. You can see it's just reading nothing. If we uh, select AC mode, and this is roughly uh, 14 volts applied, you can see it's reading nothing. In ohms mode, yeah, it's always reading zeros. Ah, dead short. See that? I'd say probably whatever has uh, been arcing on the input is uh, shorted out now. This is looking inside of the Unity 139C, and there's a little piece of fragment here at the end of my screwdriver. It looks like it was a piece blown off of something. I would have thought it would have been this uh, little mob, or I guess they uh, have a PTC here. So maybe off of that it appears to be the same color, maybe down by the lead. I don't know, it's difficult to tell. You can see there's some discoloration up here where it's been arcing. I'll bet you if we uh, hook this thing up. Oh yeah, look at all this. When I flipped it upside down. Yeah, that's all the crap that just came out of this meter here. <laughs> yeah, the more I'm looking at it, I think that that's all off of this PTC here. Yep, I think that that was encapsulated like this one. And that's what you see that's left. Let's just see what this thing does here. You know, I don't think the camera is fast enough to even pick this up. That is bright and it's fast. <laughs> Holy smokes. Yeah, looking through the preview screen here. The camera just shows it is all black, but boy, I'm telling you, that board is lighting up. It's like the 4th of July here in America. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah. Two Unities dead tonight. Not my recommendation for a meter. Alright, so that's the Unity UT139C. Uh, again, I would say this definitely did not survive this test. If you're looking for a meter that's uh, robust, this is definitely not your choice. 